Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Kasim, and today I've got the new Apple MagSafe leather wallet. Now, last year I did a review of this wallet and I absolutely loved it. I love the fact that I could just slap it on my phone and it would stay there. And what was nice is that I got used to the fact that if it wasn't on my phone, I would know that I'm leaving my wallet behind. Well, this year they've added a few new things. So first of all, you've got a bunch of different colors to choose from. Also, you've now got the ability to add this to the Find My Network. So if you drop your wallet and it gets left behind for over a minute, your phone would automatically notify you that you've left your wallet behind. You've also got the ability to add your phone number and have it stored in here. So if I leave my wallet and somebody else picks it up and attaches it to their phone, it's going to display my phone number. Now, obviously this is going to be on the goodwill of the person, whether or not they wanna reach out to me and get me my wallet back, but it's nice to have that feature. Now, just like last year, this wallet is built really well. The stitching is nice. It's natural leather, so it feels really nice. And what's cool is that with time, it's going to patina. Patina is just leather wearing and aging with time. So it makes it uniquely yours as time progresses. The lighter the color of the actual wallet, the more it will patina with time. Now, one of the things I was really curious about was whether or not the strength of the magnets has changed. Now, from what I know, it is exactly the same. It doesn't feel any different to me. Now, a lot of people complained last year saying that these fall off when you put it into your pocket. I haven't had that issue. I didn't have it with the original wallet and I don't have it here. When I go to put this in my pocket, I'm holding it like this and then sliding it into my pocket. Now, if you slide it and it's going to rub on the ridge of your jeans pocket or something, yeah, this is going to fall off. It's just normal. I mean, that is going to happen. This is not some kind of like super magnet in here that it's going to stay put 24 seven. But for normal usage, I have not had any single issue with my MagSafe wallet, which is now almost a year old. Now, next I wanna talk about the Find My functionality of this new Apple MagSafe wallet. So just like you pair AirPods or AirTags, when you first actually slap this onto your phone, it's going to pop up the wallet, take you through a few prompts to add it to the Find My network. Now, once the wallet has been added in and is set up, you can go into the Find My app click on the wallet and then change some settings. So you can adjust whether or not you'll want a notification if this has been separated from your phone for over a minute. Inside the Find My app is where you'll also be able to add your phone number and have it display when somebody else finds your wallet and attaches it to their MagSafe compatible iPhone. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this and the Find My network is that it's not like AirTags or your iPhone to where it'll give you a live location. Once this falls off, it's just going to register that last location where it was last left. Now, by the time that you see the notification, if it's been 10 minutes, all you're gonna be able to see is the last location where this was left. So if you go there, it's really going to be up to the goodwill of people to let you know that you left your wallet behind. Or if somebody does pick it up, it's gonna be on their goodwill to attach it to their phone and actually text you. But the fact that that option is there should help you find your wallet faster than it not being there at all. This is a nifty little feature, but to be very honest with you, I've personally never lost my Apple MagSafe wallet. Now, before I would leave my wallet behind at home, but now I've gotten so used to just having it on my phone when I'm leaving the house that this hasn't been an issue for me. So I don't really think and see myself losing it, but at least having a last location or having your phone number stored in there at least gives somebody else the option to be nice and help you in finding your wallet. But I don't think this is something that I'd solely be upgrading for. Now, next, I wanna talk about the different color options you have. So the one that I've been using in this video is the golden brown. Now you do have options for this lavender kind of one. This is called Wisteria. Then you've got this dark green, which is a Sequoia green. That's the official name of the color. Then you've got this 
Dark Cherry, which is like a really dark purple. I really like this. And last but not least, you've got Midnight, which is a black with like a little hint of blue, which you can only really see in outdoor conditions. Now for me personally, I like the Midnight, I like the Dark Cherry and the Golden Brown. These are my three favorites, but you can let me know down below which one you really like. And uh, if you've been looking for a different color for your MagSafe wallet, well, now you've got these five new options to choose from. Now, last but not least, I'd like to talk about whether or not this is worth an upgrade or if this is going to be your first wallet, if it's worth it. You have space for two cards and an ID. So you have to keep that in mind that, you know, this is great for people that don't have a bunch of cards on them. I had a slim wallet before, so for me, the transition was really easy. Now, I think this is more so an upgrade for somebody that is new to iPhone 12 or new to iPhone 13. If you bought a MagSafe wallet last year, I really don't see an incentive to upgrade unless you really want a new color or you really want one of the new features. Now, I personally am happy with my black and saddle brown wallet from last year. They haven't even worn out, so I don't really see a reason for me to upgrade. But nonetheless, if you've got $59 and you like one of these colors or some of the new features of the new Apple MagSafe wallet, then this is going to be a great buy. I really love this wallet and I'd highly recommend it. But this year I'd recommend it to someone that's just starting out with a MagSafe iPhone. And if you've got one from last year, then I think you should be just fine and consider upgrading once your wallet actually wears out. With that said, thank you so much for your time today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what's your favorite color or whether or not you're gonna be picking this up for yourself. And most importantly, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video.